sponsored by Squarespace, where you can make awesome looking websites. We've got 102 miniatures to build and paint for this guy. But he's only here for 24 hours, so I need to bring out every tool I have in my toolbox that I've learned over the past four years. I've kind of learned how to paint without actually having any time to paint, so... You can say I'm an expert. To figure out why we'd take on a task to build and paint 102 miniatures in 24 hours, we need to go back a year. At this point in 2021, Lucas, Victor and I spent the better part of three weeks to build and paint an entire massive Tau army to give away to someone who was forced to sell off their entire Warhammer collection just to cover the family costs they had. And to me, that's the video that I'm the most proud of. And ever since then, I've been looking for a way to repeat the process and give back to someone who really deserves to get an army. But I haven't quite come across that until I found Niklas. And all you really need to know about Niklas is he spends a lot of his time supporting youth culture in his city and he helped elderly people to get out during COVID with his biking service. And he did that up until about three months ago where his company finally caved in after all of the issues with COVID restrictions and all of that issues. So to be able to cover the last costs with his company and still be able to pay his own rent, he was forced to sell off his entire collection. So I wrote him a message and asked him if I could buy some of the stuff because yes I didn't want him to end up on the streets. And the best thing about that I got to make a call to him and I found out that he was a really good guy. So with that I had finally found the person that I wanted to give something back to. So now I just gotta figure out how to get Niklas up here without telling him too much about what we're gonna do because I kind of want it to be a surprise for him. But I have an idea. So that gets us to today, and he has no idea that we're going to give him an entire Flesh Eat Quartz army. So I guess that's the start of the day, so let's go see if we can find it. <laughs> So we're at Fantasia. You think that we're gonna paint start collecting boxes, right? Yes. But we had a change of plan. We're gonna start off with just giving you a, an army with uh, flesh eating corpse. Okay. Yes. It's like 102 figures. Okay. And the plan is we're gonna try to paint it all up for you today until you leave tomorrow. All right. And on top of that, you can decide either if you want to have your old army back or if you want 5,000 crowns and pick up whatever you want from the store today, whether that's miniatures, hobby tools or whatever, it's up to wow. you. Something new. Something new, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm I speechless. Think, yeah. <laughs> so with that, we gave Niklas two minutes to pick out whatever he wanted for $650 in the store. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> two, one, go. Nice. Nice. And you guys might wonder, how the heck does he afford giving someone an army worth $1,300? Well, there's two ways I do that. The first one is obviously thanks to all of the patrons who make sure that my salary is paid. And the second one is this week's sponsor, Squarespace, who paid the entire thing. And Squarespace is that all-in-one platform for all those of you who want to make your own platform on the internet. Whether you want to make a portfolio for your awesome looking art, or maybe you want to sell a product online, all of that can be made super simply with their web design tools. On top of that, you don't have to have any previous knowledge about programming or web design, because you can pick between all of their awesome looking award-winning templates, and they do truly look amazing. I've been using Squarespace myself for about three, four years now, and I truly I truly love it because it's so easy to update and they make sure that the website is safe to use for the visitors as well. So you don't have to worry about updating your website or having to pay for someone else to help you update your website after a few years when it's due for an update. And if you want to try out Squarespace, you can follow the link down below, squarespace.com slash squidmar. And if you use the code squidmar when you're ready to launch the website, you get 10% off your entire purchase of a website or domain. Now let's get back to painting all of these flesh eater cords. So we are ready to start with your army you excited yes yes okay so <laughs> the pile is bigger than you might think it is uh, but we're gonna focus on the flesh eater courts the plan is to start building I think we're gonna put you Victor and Marcus on building the guys Lucas and I are gonna start with the bases I guess we're just gonna 
go at it and see where we end up after today. So yeah. let's do it. So we've been at it for about an hour. All the bases are done and these guys are continuously building. How's it going? Really good. Almost 20. Almost 20. Yeah. So just 82 more to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas is building an arch regent. Yeah. Marcus. Yeah. What you building? Ripped horrors. I hope we can start painting maybe like 20 minutes. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna get started to gluing figures as well. So, 20 of these done. Good job. Yay! Yay! Let's glue them on bases and uh, prime them. Let's go. We're currently gluing everything in place. And I also thought uh, we have some more stuff for you. This is an airbrush, more Steinbeck. And we heard that some of your paints are getting old. <laughs> There's more paints. <laughs> you might need these. Oh my god. <laughs> the bases. So we're gonna do an assembly line painting start with this. I'm gonna start with uh, speed paint plasmatic bolt through the airbrush to create sort of a bright blue highlight. And then Lucas is gonna go in with a dark shadow and do the shadows with the Achillean uh, green. So it's gonna go really fast for us to, to go through these and paint like the first few layers. made like 40 ghouls, 12 flares from endless spells. I just finished one of these. 10 points too. Thank you. So I've painted uh, the first couple of miniatures uh, with uh, a highlight layer and the base coat for the base, which is green. I'm gonna start with the brushwork, so I'm gonna start with this one. I think it's gonna look awesome. I'm picking up the scraps from Emil and then painting all the shadows. Basically making Emil's paint job look good. How's it going guys? Going good. Assembling zombie dragons. The last minis, right? Yeah. 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 Are you gonna have them done by tomorrow? Yes. 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 Only Lucas. three more. <laughs> Only three more to go. Only three more. <laughs> down here, we've started painting on these guys. They are obviously not done, but we have pretty much the base coats on there. So then we can start highlighting, which means that we are well on the way. But the dragons are gonna be the big project tomorrow. You think we can make it? Yes. Let's do it. Day two, everyone's working hard. Or hardly working. We're kind of falling behind, which is not unexpected. But uh, yeah, Lucas and I are still painting. These guys are still building dragons. So I think uh, in maybe one hour, you guys will be done with the dragons. And then Probably. everyone will be yeah. painting. So I still think we can manage to put paint on everything. Let's see how well painted we make it. For all of the open wound parts on the flesh tear courts, we use the Flesh Terror Red. It's a deep, saturated red that just works perfectly on all of the layers we already added on there. We then highlight it using Mephisto Red and add in a little bit of ivory to punch that highlight. And for all of the bone and leather parts, we just base it with the contrast paints Wildwood. We then highlight those parts with Khaki Grey and Ivory. So we got the base coats on pretty much all the miniatures that are primed, but we still have 
all of these and like the dragons and stuff. So I'm gonna go prime these. There's a lot left to do. Hopefully it's gonna get something I can play with at least. We had about three hours left until Nicholas' flight leaves. We had finally everyone on the paintbrush. We made sure that every miniature had the flesh terror red and the wildwood on all of its parts. And Lucas and I started highlighting all of the miniatures. All the tiny teeth, their eyes, their horns, and of course the gooey parts. 30 minutes until your flight leaves. Yes. Are we done? Y yeah, for today. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> I feel like uh, we kind of uh, overestimated how much we would uh, actually be able to finish. But I've had a lot of fun. Yes. And you've got an almost <laughs> playable <laughs> army. And uh, all of the boxes over there. Are you going to fit everything in the box on the flight? Uh, <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I, barely. Because aren't you done yet? No, He's yes. leaving of now. Course, of course I'm done. <laughs> nice meeting you, man. Yeah, you too. And uh, we'll send you the army at the end of the week, I think. Sounds Have a safe good. Flight. Niklas left the other day and he thought that we were just gonna keep the minis to like film some cool reveal shots, but. We kind of wanted to surprise him again by painting everything up a little bit more. So we have one more day. We're not going to do a world record, obviously, but we got some reinforcement. Say hi, hi to hey. <laughs> Abed. <laughs> We're going to keep painting all day today. And hopefully we have a finished-ish army at the end of the day. Marcus, what you doing? I'm fixing the base. Bases! Yes. Looking sweet! Almost there. Gus, what you doing? I'm painting with contrast paints. How many have you been doing? Uh, 69,420. Nice. Pretty much doing the same thing that Lucas is doing. Just contrast paint paints. a bit better. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. It's opposite day. <laughs> So, we got some more assistance. Hello, Anton. Hello. <laughs> you ready to paint? Yeah. Yes, let's, let's do get it. Down to it. <laughs> okay, dudes, everything is uh, pretty much done. The day's over. What is it time for? Grand, Grand reveal! reveal. <laughs>